Africa's rhino population rebounds for first time in a decade. New figures show. Here's a summary of the article. London. African rhino populations are increasing despite poaching and habitat loss. New figures from the International Union for Conservation of Nature show. The new figures, released Thursday, highlight that protection and biological management initiatives across the continent have resulted in black rhino populations rising by 4.2% to a population of 6,487, and white rhino populations rising by 5.6% to a population of 16,803. By the end of 2022, the African rhino population stood at just 23,290 according to latest figures by the IUCN. However, thanks to intense and heightened protection and management efforts over the years, rhino populations on the continent are beginning to rebound. The rebounding rhino populations aren't just a win for rhinos, but for the many wildlife species that share their ecosystems and the people who steward these lands, Nina Fashone, executive director at the International Rhino Foundation, told ABC News. Poaching remains the biggest threat to all rhino species, as highlighted in the 2023 State of the Rhino Report. Poachers changing their tactics, focusing attention from the largest rhino population to more susceptible ones. South Africa, home to the continent's largest rhino population, has suffered devastating poaching losses, as poachers target its reserves. Namibia, home to the world's largest black rhino population, saw a devastating 93% increase in rhino poaching from 2021 to 2022. This post received a score of 10,000, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Yay! Right? Some good news today. That's wonderful news. First good news I've seen in ages. I went to the dentist last week and didn't have any cavities. So happy for you. Congratulations. Fabulous news. I've been to Tanzania where we saw a few rhino. You could always tell one was near as each rhino had a ranger protecting it. Seeing one with a baby was a very heartfelt experience. Did anyone think about building a Match.com iPhone app for rhinos? Why is it that I have all the great ideas? It's exhausting. They did, but all the rhinos have Android phones. Change is a seed. Our efforts may seem absolutely hopeless today, but just remember the work of all those conservationists, decades ago, who fought for this. They were not able to prevent a mass extinction. They were able to prevent the extinction of a few species at least. We do what we can. Good men plant trees whose shade they will never sit in. Rhinos are magnificent creatures and I have had the pleasure of watching them in the wild. The poaching scourge has taken a devastating toll on them in the past decade so it's really heartening to see the numbers rise again. Damn. I want more news like this. Woohoo! Humpback whales were nearly driven to extinction in the 20th century, but now they're plentiful in number and are no longer considered endangered. In the last half century, the humpback whale population went from under 10,000 to around 150,000. This is the result of decades of anti-whaling efforts around the world. You can thank Kirk and Spock. These are not the hell your whales. Keep it going. Lots of really really ugly sex has occurred to make this possible. But enough about Ops Weekend. My rhino partner is at least not a rhino, never votes for fascists. Hot in those rhinos. I've been scrolling for an hour, but I finally found some good news. Is it because the generation who thinks it's magic wizard boner potion is dying off? Got to watch a reserve dehorn a rhino to help curb the killing of rhinos for their horn last year. Awesome creatures, happy to hear. Probably a direct correlation between the population increase and when they authorized the shooting, killing of poachers. African nations figure out they make more revenue in tourists visiting live rhinos than poachers turning rhino horns into aphrodisiacs. That is awesome. Baby rhinos are so damn cute. The parents so damn. Impressive. Good. Keep poaching poachers. Way to go. Let's hear it for the chubby unicorns. A big problem in large animal conservation in Africa is that most of our positive gains are in parks and protected areas with heavy security. 
It's also pretty regional with many communities struggling with overpopulation of these animals in East and South Africa while other areas see their large animals becoming regionally extinct. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.